Following the recent scandals around the potential Chinese agents at the heart of the British establishment, we are now hearing more developments about more spies inside the Tory party. This is absolutely disturbing. This is a, a Times exclusive uh, story about uh, potential Tory party candidates who were allegedly uh, spies to foreign forces, especially China, and MI5 had to intervene. In this video, we're gonna explain exactly what's going on with this story. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, make sure to click subscribe now. This is about uh, MI5 warning the Conservative Party that uh, two of the uh, MP hopefuls were, could be spies for the Chinese Communist Party. The two potential candidates were dropped after the intelligence service said that they could be Chinese agents. Now, this is actually about the investigation into everything else around the establishment overall. They also investigated the Tory party. Now, MI5 contacted the CCHQ, the Conservative Party headquarters, about two people in 2021 and last year, 2022, and then advised the party that they should not be on the central list of candidates, as they could potentially be spies for the Chinese states. Now, we don't actually know the identity of uh, the individuals. And one of the issues that we have is that you can't really tell anymore because there are so many sellouts in the West who might not be Chinese citizens. They might not be British Chinese. They could actually just be British native Brits, for example, or English, and they could still be spies. This reminds us of the, the Cold War days with uh, the Soviet Union. It's very embarrassing how the establishment have been uh, completely blindsided and by the way when we talk about the foreign infiltration I'm going to be objective in this and I'm going to say something that the mainstream media haven't talked about when it comes to this story but first let's uh, talk about what the MI5 said because they raised concerns that the, those two potential candidates had links to the United Front Work Department a body charged with influencing global policy and opinion they were blocked from the list which is used to as a pull to pick candidates for the by-elections and general elections. So hang on, that institution, <laughs> institution, that is essentially linked to the CCP. And then what they do is they're essentially globalists. They go around and influencing uh, opinion and ideas. Um, I'm pretty sure there are a number of other institutions that do that. And we, they don't have our interests at heart, the best interests at heart, and we can't scrutinize them. Oh yes, let's talk about Klaus Schwab and the World Economic Forum. Apparently, it's just a basic lobby group. It's just a think tank. Of course, it is. But why is it that uh, the, the individuals who go to that place, Davos, that's just one example, by the way. And I know that the establishment would say, oh, here we go, another tinfoil hat conspiracy theory. And then it's not. This is about what's public. We are talking about foreign influence into our country. I would say the exact same thing about the European Union. While we're a member of the EU, and even now, outside the EU, we still have the EU influence. And they don't have the best interests at all. I'm not defending the Chinese Communist Party. I'm saying, of course, they are the enemy. They, they, they want to influence, they want to infiltrate. But we've been infil uh, infiltrated by the rest of the globalist elite. We haven't even cared about it, the people in the establishment. Nobody saw it as a threat because it was friendly. It was friendly infiltration. It was welcomed. But they are changing the face of our nation. They are changing the culture. They are changing the economic system. They are changing the political system. Their whole country is changing. But because it's friendly, it's okay. Did we ask for it? Did you get our public cons consent on this? No. You are focusing on the Chinese infiltration, rightly so. And the Iranians and all the other enemies. But what about the, the other ones who are also influencing our culture and society? But you opened the doors to them, but not MI5, but people in the political establishment, they did. So this is a, obviously the whole thing started a few days ago because of this guy, um, allegedly, Chris Cash, who was a parliamentary researcher. China could be designated a, a formal risk after the House of Commons spying arrest. Now, this Chris Cash guy who was arrested, then released on bail and everything else, is uh, denying the charges against him. Um, but it's still completely undermined the whole system. Now, people at the top of MI5, including the head of MI5, Ken McCallum, are concerned 
The head of M5 has warned that the Communist Party poses the most game-changing strategic challenge to the UK. He said in July last year that one of the things that is very striking is that uh, they are uh, prepared to invest in cultivating people at local level, potentially and at the outset of their political career. This is very concerning because they are starting from the grassroots and um, this is the same tactics that they used to use in the Soviet Union. And we are still going around sending our idiotic prime minister to China to shake hands with our enemies because it's Rishi Sunak. I don't understand what's going on in this country anymore. And we have a choice between Rishi Sunak and Keir Starmer at the next election. Whether we like it or not, those are the real choices. Unfortunately, I don't want that to be the choice, but the majority of the people in the country haven't still considered that there might be other political parties. They don't really take the other parties seriously yet. No other party has actually been a proper challenge to the Tories and the Labour Party, really. So it's going to get consistently long term. So if you want to change uh, the, and reform the system, you have to uh, be able to uh, create a party or use one of the smaller party existing parties like Reform UK. Uh, to actually create a better team, a better program, and keep fighting until you win. That's what the Labour Party did 100 years ago, when the establishment was about the Liberals and the Tories. They managed to do it. You can do it again. If you, if you want to become pessimistic and give up, then fine. Just give up. Move to Kuwait or somewhere else, Japan. But if you want to stay in this country and fight, then fight. Stop being pessimistic. I try to do my job by obviously spreading information and uh, give you guys access to information and everything else. But everybody else has to do their job as well. If you want to fight, then fight. If you don't want to fight, then fine. Step aside. Let me know your thoughts. I'm Maya Tusi, and we are the media.